guys, Charmaine here, and in this video, we are comparing Paper Ang P1 and Paper Ang P2 in a print test. Let me show you both of the units first. So I'll begin with P2 because this, this is the first one that I got. I bought this online. It was secondhand and I got it from Aina. She's also on Instagram and she sold it to me for 1,600 pesos with shipping so that was a really good deal that's why i i bought it so it came with the box and everything and it works perfectly fine and as you can see i've already added these stickers they're removable so that's totally fine so this one right here is paperang p1 so this is an older model and we are going through the technical details for each one in a bit so this was gifted by paperang and I actually have an unboxing video for this one and also a tutorial on how to use it. So in terms of size, P1 is smaller and P2 is a bit bigger. Paper Ang sells this leather case. So for reference, both of them fits, but P1, you still have extra space and it's not super tight. So you have extra space on there. As for P2, it also fits as well and still there's still space but it's more snug now let's go to the technical specs on what is the difference for both of these units as for the price um, I'm not familiar with the price of uh, P1 but I'll flash it on the screen so I'm definitely definitely sure that P2 is more expensive than P1 Let's look at the boxes and let's look at their technical specs. And the model is P2 and you have the sizes over here and they actually weigh the same. That's amazing. They weigh the same. This one says 160 grams and this one says 160 grams. Both of the specs are generally the same and they have the location for the charging port on the same spot and the buttons. Uh, the power button they're on the same spot as well and the way you open them it is the same as well they click open like this and the only difference is their printing capacity which is p1 prints 200 dpi or dots per inch whereas p2 does 300 dpi and that is what we are comparing in this video so we will be doing a test print for both so for this test print, we are loading each unit with the same sheet. I am using the one-year retention rolls. So there are different types of paper rolls that you can buy. It's available on their website. I'll put the link down below. I even have a video comparing all the different sticker paper that is available in roll form, in a thermal paper roll form. Now that both units are loaded, it is time to turn them on and let's do our test print. For this test print, I have pre-prepared a layout on the Paperang app. In the layout, I included a colored image. I also added a black and white vector which I got offline and I also have big text print and tiny text print this is just so we can compare the different images that both printers will render so here is the print sample using paperang p1 the thing that i noticed with the printing speed is that paperang p1 prints slower compared to paperang p2 so i'm not going to fast forward this one so you can watch the printer print in real time and when done just tear it out next i print the exact same one on my paper rank p2 this time i don't know if you can appreciate it but this printer prints faster compared to the P1. This too is real-time printing. 
Now it's time to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the prints and let's begin with the image. Side-by-side uh, -side, you can see that the one printed with P2 was a bit darker so I thought I could correct that by editing the photo on the app. As this happened to me before, all you have to do when this happens is to edit the photo this feature is available in the app as well and just simply increase the brightness. By doing this, I would have color corrected the photo when it prints on the printer. You will see a side-by-side -side comparison of this as well after I print this one. The Paperang app has a lot of features that can help you improve your prints so if you have the time to experiment and get to know your paper and printer so you'll know which settings work best for you now let's compare the images of this corrected print versus the p1 print from afar they look the same but actually the p1 print has larger dots so you can see the dots or the pixels in the print. Now let's compare the corrected print from Paperang P2 and the first print of the photo which is unedited. So on the side by side the corrected one is miles better than the first print. And now we go back to comparing Paperang P1 and P2. So in terms of the black and white vector print, the P2 print seems darker, but that's only because the P2 print is more fine. But text-wise, they look exactly the same. Overall, P1 is darker because it is 200 dpi and P2 is lighter but shows more details. And that's the difference between the prints of these two units. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helps you decide which unit to get. To be honest, either of the two is okay for me. P1 is more affordable than P2 so if you're on a budget, you can always go for P1. But if you're looking for a finer print or one that is of a better quality and will show off more details, P2 is the printer that you will need. Anyway guys, I actually have a discount code. If you use my affiliate link, you can use Charmaine10 to get yourself a unit as well. I'll put the link down below. Thank you for making it through till the end of this video. For now, keep safe, stay well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!